back down into the juice. Oh. See? Cool. And that's what gives it the color. So you break that whole cake up, you give it air, the fermentation is happy, you want it to smell really nice like that, you know, you don't want any off odors. Uh, and, uh, and then the more you heat it, the more extracts you're going to get from the, the skins. Kind of like coffee, the more you Roast. put the, you know, hot water over the coffee, the more extract you're going to get. It's kind of the same principle. Yeah. And then you press this through one of these two bladder presses over here. And uh, the more you squeeze it, you know, and at that point it's wine. The, uh, uh, the sugar gets converted to alcohol. Uh, the, uh, uh, the yeast eat the sugar and convert it to alcohol. And, and so do you guys like manually taste it? All the time. When it's cracked and then you... Well, every day. It sounds like a great job. It's a good it's not, it's not like a digital process where you dunk them. We have that, all that, but yes. We look at the numbers, we look at the temperatures, but a lot of it is taste. And, and what you want is smoothness, balance, all the way through the process. Once this finishes and it's off the skins, and into barrels, which will be about probably maybe 10 days from now, that is what you've got, you know.